everyone, welcome back. Today I just did this, what I call everyday kind of look. I like to do this because it's pretty quick, it's easy to do. It's only three, I added a fourth shimmer, but you could do it in three colors. And it's all from one palette, which makes it so much easier. I work pretty early in the morning, so when I get up, I don't feel like digging around for a bunch of stuff usually. Usually I'm just ready to do it and go. I know I don't have to do my makeup because I work in a grocery store when it's closed at night, so not really a whole lot of people see it anyway, but it just makes me feel better about it. And I feel like once I have my makeup on, it's easier for me to get going. Today I'm just gonna be doing my everyday makeup look using the Morphe 35V palette. The colors that I normally use for just an everyday easy look are this one right here called Thirst. This one is called Three Little Words, and this black down here in the bottom called Little Black Book. That's usually, I use those um, just on a normal day. Mostly for if I go to work or whatever. And I just really like having all the colors and all the products that I want to use in one place. It's so much easier, especially when especially when I get up in the morning. Usually I get up at midnight or 2 o'clock in the morning to go to work. So it's so much easier when it's all in one place and I don't have to dig around for it. So that's what we're going to be doing today. And I'm going to start out by priming my eyelids. And I'm going to use the e.l.f. Putty Primer. It's a face primer, but you can use it on your eyes too. And I'm just gonna take this fluffy brush. I'm gonna go in with Thirst here, starting in this corner, through the crease, into this corner. I'm just blending it all over. Always important to blend it. This is one of my favorite palettes because, first off because it has black, but also because it has all these beautiful colors and they're so pigmented and easy to work with. And next I'm going to go in with this color here. It's called Three Little Words. It's like a, a pinky shimmer color. It's really, really pretty. And I'm just going to take that on my finger and then do it right here where I kind of don't have much going on. And just kind of throw it all the way up my lid there. I'm not positive. That might be called a halo. I think. I'm not sure. I just think this color is so pretty with this. Also, another color that's really pretty with it from this Tammy palette is this purple here. It's really pretty with that red too, but I just think that I just think that color shimmer works so good with this red eyeshadow. Next I'm gonna go in with this black down here called Little Black Book. I'm gonna take this crease brush from Mata Pro and I'm gonna throw it in the center corner and up in the crease some. And then when I get when I get the black even on both sides, I'll go back in, I'll go back in with Thirst, this color here, and then just go back over this black, the edges of it, so I can bring some of that red back over top of it. Because naturally I put too much black on. <laughs> and then throw a little bit more of that color in the corner there. Now I just want to blend everything together, make sure there's no lines. And now that everything's blended, I'm just gonna throw, I'm just gonna throw more three little words on the on top of my lid there. That shimmer color just on top, just to brighten it back up. If I covered it up any, I'm gonna go in with this Arcelli eyeliner pen. Just do my eyeliner on top. This fingernail polish I'm wearing is so pretty. It's Believe Beauty, but it's like a duochrome kind of. It kind of shifts to green sometimes. It's really pretty. And it, it wears pretty well. I open a lot of boxes at work, so my nails ship pretty easy, pretty quickly. And it works pretty good. This thumb, I messed it up and redone it like four times this morning. <laughs> it's staying like that now. I'm done with it. I can't fix it again. I'm going to go in with this color here. It's, sh it's a shimmer color and it's called Knockout on my pinky. And I'm going to throw it right in the corner here. So my eyes are where I want them to be. Everything looks pretty even. Okay, now I'm gonna do my foundation. I have the e.l.f. Putty Primer. And we still have the stay home order, so I'm not doing makeup for any particular reason. <laughs> just, just because I like doing it. it. Makes me feel better, I like doing it, I have fun. I might go hiking later. There's a little nature preserve pretty close to where we live. And uh, 
Sometimes we'll go there. There's never anybody there. So I might go there later. But if not, I still have fun doing my makeup. <laughs> okay, I did it again. I put on my foundation without hitting record. I used the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Foundation, L4. I think this is one of the prettiest foundations. The way that it sits on my skin is just, it's so pretty. It doesn't, it hides most of the, my pores. This crease that I get right here is almost non-existent with this foundation. It does crease, but just a little tiny bit. It, I think this side is where it creases really bad and it, it'll crease like right here and that's about it. And then, But this one is a little bit longer, but with this foundation it barely creases. The only problem is it doesn't last me all day, which everybody wants out of a foundation, but and also, I just use this Real Techniques sponge. I like it a lot. I know there's um, a couple uh, there's a couple YouTubers I've seen who said that they don't like them because they break down too fast or they start falling apart pretty quickly. I I don't have any problems with it. There's a spot right here on the side. I don't know if you can see it. There's a little bit here that I think I put, dug my nail into, and there's a little bit over here where it's kind of kind of tearing. But I've probably had this a month or two, and it is I think it's holding up pretty well. Needs cleaned, obviously, all my brushes do. I'll get to that sometime. For the powder that I put over top of it, because it's it does need to be set a little bit, I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Perfect Finish HD powder. I've been kind of testing it, so so far it's it's not bad. It's just white and it has this mirror in it, which everybody likes a mirror in anything. It has a little space down here. I don't know if it was supposed to have something in it. It didn't. <laughs> I guess you could put something down there if you wanted to. I thought maybe it probably came with something, but it didn't, so. I always like to set right here because I wear glasses. So I'll set right here where my glasses sit just so they don't make a mess right off the bat. It will later on, you'll be able to, in the day, if I take my glasses off, it'll be a mark there, but it won't be quite as bad if I have powder here. If I set it down some. My glasses are kind of big, so I, they sit on my cheeks when I smile. So I, I always kind of powder right there too. And I'll put a little bit right here. Not much because this is kind of hard to wipe away, this powder is. And then I'm just going to take this big fluffy brush, get some of that on there, and then throw it on my forehead and my cheeks. Usually I use that Cody powder, that Cody Airspun powder. And there's usually enough that I pack on that I can smear it around, but there's not a whole lot of this on here. So and I really like to throw it right here on my nose because I get kind of oily later. So it keeps it from getting too oily too quick. I'm going to go back into the palette with this little smudger brush. It's just a little tiny flat brush. It's a little black book. It's just the black down here in the bottom. And I'm going to bring it down along my bottom eyelash line. Make sure to knock any excess off so it doesn't fall into your foundation. And I wiped off any excess. Now I'm just smudging it around. I'm going to go back into this very top shimmer shade called Knockout. Throw it right under my eyebrows. Maybe I should do my eyebrows first. Let's do that. Just using the Essence Eyebrow Pen that I normally use. Got those little spikes on it. Just to make my eyebrows a little fuller. I think this tail end back here looks pretty good. I just like to fill this part in a little bit. Okay, back in with Knockout to put it underneath my eyebrows. And just blend it all together right there. Just gonna add more of Thirst right here to right here because I realized that nothing, nothing was there. So I added a little bit more there. And I'm gonna go in with this Essence Mosaic Blush kind of excited I ordered a uh, um, I can't remember what it's called was where you build your own palette on Colourpop I'm so excited it's actually um, it hasn't shipped yet I ordered it maybe a week ago it hasn't shipped yet because California is all, all shut down so whenever that ships I'll make a, a video of that and show all the colors I picked out it was kind of hard to pick out colors because um, I tried to pick out pick colors that would work work really well together and then also colors I would use every day like I picked out colors specifically for this this look because I use this I do this look a lot because it's one of my favorite looks, so I'm pretty excited for that to come. And then I'm going to use this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. I guess I can show you. It's got a really pretty embossed design on there, like a little flower. It's really pretty. I I always try to use around it because I don't want to mess it up. And it's really really pretty. Then I'm going to use the Pure Fully Charged. Mascara. Before I got this one, I used um, Essence Lash Princess. That's a really, really good one, too. And I think Essence mascaras are like three, maybe four or five bucks. So cheap, and they're really, really good. I've gotten their mascaras several, several times. I bought this one, and I love it, so I've been using this one a lot. And it was on sale when I got it. It was pretty cheap. So I don't know 
if I use all this up, I don't know if I'm going to buy another one. Because I'm so cheap when it comes to mascara, especially when Essence has such cheap, good mascaras. It's hard to make myself buy a expensive one again. This is my everyday look. Like, this is what I like to do if I, if I don't have any other ideas or um, if I'm in a really big hurry, I'll just throw some eyeliner on and mascara and go. The other day I was really late. I woke up late, so I just put on mascara. But this is what I normally do if I'm just, just get up and ready to go. But today I'm going to add lipstick. I don't normally add any kind of lips, especially if I'm going to work. I don't, I don't put anything on my, my lips because I, I don't have time to go look at it and check on it every couple minutes. So I'm going to add this Believe Beauty. It says Velvet Matte Liquid Lipstick. It's a really pretty color. I, I think I said one time that I don't really like nudes. I guess this would be kind of considered a nude color. But, but I bought it specifically because I didn't have any. And I just wanted to try it out. And this was four bucks. Thought I would try it. That might the only thing I don't like about Believe Beauty makeup, Believe Makeup, is they put those security tags, which I understand, but they like they leave this on everything. I hate that. Um, I had something else from them. I can't remember what, and it had it on there also, because you peel that that security tag off because it's over the edge here, so you have to peel it off. And it just and it always leaves that. I guess I could get some goo gone or something and take it off. I guess I could have got a liner. But I just got this for a, just to throw on real quick. Okay, and there's my finished look. It's just an easy look for me to do. I love that I can get it all in one palette. That way I'm not digging around, especially early in the morning. You could probably do this with any palette, really, if you have all black colors. That's, that's really why I like having black in a palette, because I use black a lot. I almost always have black on. And then I don't normally have lipstick on, but this is a really pretty color. All right, and that's it. I hope you like this look. It's really easy to do, really quick. I think it took me maybe 30 minutes. I think about I think about 30 minutes. It doesn't take too long, and that's the full face. I don't think that's too bad. Sometimes I don't do quite so much makeup, but it's one of my favorite things to do with my eyes. So I'm I'm kind of new to the the blush game. I haven't been doing that for very long, so I'm not great at it. I got a little too high here, but that's okay. I think it still looks pretty. This lipstick is really really pretty. This is only the second time I've worn it. I wore it the other day. I don't think it quite dries down like it's still on my finger, but, but it's really, really pretty. And thank you so much for watching. Hope everyone's doing okay being quarantined and stuck at home. I'm not going anywhere today. I might go hiking later, so just wanted to do my makeup just because I like doing it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'll see you next week. I've been trying to put all my videos out on Friday, so trying to keep a schedule. I have a routine so far, so I think I'm doing okay. Three videos in. How long's that been there? Been talking for a few minutes. <laughs> Thank you so much for stopping back by. Hope you enjoyed this video. Easy, quick, everyday makeup. All right, and I'll see you guys next week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.